Well, making a prediction last year was quite easy because everybody knew that it was generative AI that was going to be going to be the big deal. This year it's a bit more difficult. But I suppose there's probably kind of three areas I think we'll see some significant changes over the coming year. So the first is digital identity. There's a you know, because of the scale of fraud and everything else that's going on, there's a, a resurgence of interest, actually, and I say investment into digital identity. So I think we're going to see some interesting new businesses, interesting new business models around identity. The second thing is open banking. I think you know the arrival of open banking in the US is going to re-energize um, open banking elsewhere, particularly because the big tech players will get more into open banking. I know we've seen Apple launch its first open banking service here in the UK, but um, you know, as more and more of big tech players start to experiment with open banking because of the US, we'll see spillover. And the third one, as you might be surprised to hear me say, but, um, but actually I think the metaverse is gonna be a bigger deal this year. I think a lot of people looked at sort of those Facebook bubble people with no legs and then they're just like, oh, well, you know, the metaverse, it sucks, it's not interesting. But if you look at the amount of time the next generation spend in like the proto metaverses, <clears throat> you know, Roblox and things like that, and you've got the Apple glasses coming in the year as well, which will re-energize in the kind of commercial and professional sector. I think you'll be surprised. I think the metaverse is going to be a really interesting place in the coming year.